Let's make some boho chic decor from Dollar Tree products. It's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. I know a lot of you, like me, really enjoy the sort of modern boho chic style that's going around right now. Sort of that natural look, that bohemian vibe with the muted colors and all of the natural accents. Today I want to show you some home decor items that you can make with all Dollar Tree supplies. I really love how these turned out and I think they would be good for any season in your home and you can mix and match them with other styles of decor. Let's get started. For this first one, grab a terracotta pot from Dollar Tree as well as these wood beads. Then take some strong glue and a hot glue gun and glue the beads to the bottom of the pot. I put four beads around the perimeter of this pot. You could also use three. It is totally up to you. I wish these beads were a little larger for this project, but it turned out pretty cute with these smaller scale wood beads. Once the beads are dry, you can get on to the next part of the project. So I'm just using some scrap paint that I have, a variety of latex paints and chalk style paint, but you can use acrylic paint or whatever paint you have on hand. Use a round stencil brush and start putting a rainbow pattern on the pot. I wanted this to look really rustic and handmade, so I didn't worry about any brush strokes. I actually wanted the brush stro strokes on this rainbow pattern. I used a dark peach color, a light blush pink color, and then I finished off the final rainbow stripe with kind of a grayish white color. And here is the pot all finished, a super cute and simple DIY. I like putting a little plant in it. It would also look amazing with a real plant in there as well. And it's such a cute little footed pot that you could use anywhere in your home this season. Now I'm grabbing this wreath form from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two. Then take some side cutters and just try to cut one of the rings off of this wreath form. I'm using the largest ring on the form. You can also take the side cutters and remove any of the excess wire that you have sticking up. I grabbed this dried floral from Michaels, but you can use florals that you forage in your backyard and dry them. You can use baby breath, whatever is your favorite aesthetic here. Then take some more hot glue and glue that dried floral down onto the bottom third or the bottom half of the wreath. I'm also adding a few little extra pieces here in the front to give my wreath a little bit of fullness. Once the wreath is all dry, you can take this Rust-Oleum Universal Metallic Spray in Pure Gold, my favorite gold spray paint, and spray the whole thing. Once that's dry, you have this pretty little golden wreath that I think looks so cute in a little mixture kind of like this in a gallery wall. All right, now we're gonna use these cork trivets from Dollar Tree. I've been loving these for DIYs. I am taking a utility knife and cutting it in half. After you cut them in half, you can take a sanding sponge and sand the edges so they're nice and smooth. Now take any leftover paint you have. Again, I'm using leftover latex paint and leftover chalk paint. Cut a piece of poster board from Dollar Tree to a size of a frame that you have on hand. And then you can use these cork trivets as little stamps to create a modern boho piece of art. I've seen art very similar to this online for hundreds of dollars and I thought it was really simple to make this at home. This would also be a fun project to do with your kids. If your stamp isn't quite as dark as you want, you can easily take the cork trivet and re-stamp the part of your art. For my artwork, I'm using a navy blue, a blush pink, and a coral color. I didn't even wait for one side of my trivet to dry. I was so excited to finish up this stamp art. So you can do three stamps just like this, or you can do your own sort of design. Again, I'm taking this Rust-Oleum Pure Gold spray paint. I had this frame, I think it was from Dollar Tree or Michaels or something. I just had it in my storage room and I'm painting it gold. Once your artwork is dry, you can pop it into the picture frame. I don't like using glass in my picture frames because I like that matte look and be, being able to see my artwork. And then you are all done. 
I placed this on my little gallery wall here with my other wreath that I made and I love how it turned out. So simple, but I think it looks great. Onto the next DIY, we are using this Dollar Tree mop head. Take about six pieces of the mop out from it. I discovered that it is much better to take the strings from the inside of the mop rather than the outside, otherwise you're going to end up with a funny looking mop head for this DIY. I'm using my favorite glue sticks, they're the Gorilla Glue glue sticks. They work a lot better than regular glue. With one of the pieces of string, you're going to apply glue to either side of the top of the mop head and press that string into it. Next, take another piece of string you pulled out for the, from the mop and use the hot glue and apply it to the edge of that top black plastic piece. And you can kind of coil the strings around that piece. The goal here is you want to cover up that black piece to make it look like it's just rope wrapped around. You can kind of tuck in the ends and the beginnings of all these little rope pieces and make sure you're removing any hot glue strings as you go so that you have a nice natural look. Once you get to the top of the mop head, you might have to get a little creative with how you wrap that yarn around. And then once you're at the very end, you can take a final piece of rope and tie it and wrap it around the top of the loop. I like how this gives the top of this piece a tapered look. Trim off any remaining string ends, glue them down. And now I'm going to take some Rust-Oleum chalked paint and my favorite blush pink. You can see how I tried to spray paint the bottom of this tassel, it didn't quite work. So instead I'm using chalk paint and just painting the bottom third of this giant tassel. I think it would look a little better if you tie dyed the bottom, but the paint looked pretty good too. And I'm using this as an oversized tassel door hanger. On to the next DIY, we're using this Dollar Tree vase and all of these decorative marbles plus my favorite glue sticks. Take one of the flat marbles and apply some glue to the back of it and apply it to the top of the vase. We're going to make some rows from the top to the bottom of the vase. I'm totally eyeballing this. You could use a ruler if you want. However, I wanted this vase to end up looking really natural and give it that really earthy boho look. Once you have the first row glued on, you can start with the second row. And for this one, you're going to want to stagger the marbles in between the first row like I'm doing here. Now the vase looks pretty good like this if you have all the rows of marbles, you could probably use it as is. Here's a little trick if you want to get rid of those glue gun strings, take a blow dryer and go over your whole piece and you're going to be able to melt away all those pesky glue gun strings on your vase. I tried using this Rust-Oleum Vintage Blush spray paint and I tried to spray paint the vase at first, however I just did not like the finish I was getting on this. So in the end I decided to go for my favorite chalk paint again, which is the Rust-Oleum chalked paint in a blush pink and paint over the vase with that instead. You can use whatever paint you prefer, but I did like how I was able to layer this chalk style paint onto the vase to give it more of that earthy vibe that I wanted and kind of fill in any of the cracks between the marbles and the vase itself. You're gonna need a couple coats of paint for this vase. Once that's dry, you have a cute little vase like this, kind of a hobnail style vase. And I love to put some pampas graphs inside to give it that extra bohemian vibe. All right, let's do another wall art DIY. Again, I'm using those cork trivets cut in half and this raffia ribbon from Dollar Tree. It was so curly, so I decided to wet the whole thing and then I cut the raffia to the lengths that I thought they were going to be and then just set them on a towel to dry. 
Once your raffia is all dry, you can apply some hot glue to the bottom back of the cork trivets and then apply the raffia ribbon to the glue. We're creating this bohemian style wall hanging, kind of this natural look. And you can trim off any excess raffia ribbon that you don't like. Now you can leave the wall hanging like this. I've seen these online for a lot of money and this only cost me $2 to make. I decided to layer my cork trivet over top of the ones I used for that uh, first DIY with the stamps because I really liked the colors of them and this layered look. You can use command hanging strips to hang this on your wall. I love this piece in the gallery wall as well to add some texture and interest to a boho style wall display. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Please let me know down in those comments below which of these projects was your favorite and why. I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you will love and watch next right up here.